for the Australian team during the qualifiers. And uh, for Australia, Tom Rogic did not perform as we expected going into this tournament. Yeah, yeah, man, uh, which was really strange because this was uh, their target uh, during the, the qualifiers. He yes. scored four goals and actually had a hand in like uh, three other goals for Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, so for me, I think it was a disappointing uh, tournament for him. Mm -hmm. um, this player has been, you know, there are a lot of guys who talked to him, uh, talked about him, saying that, you know, he's a player in the mold of Felipe Coutinho, which, yes. I, which I think is really flattering for him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I think they do that comparison because um, there was a time he actually participated in the futsal football. Yes. Yeah, which obviously now also the likes of Coutinho have roots in that. Yes. And also I think he won um, some Nike football um, scholarship program. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically his development as a player, I think, uh, went through the phases, you know, that made him such a star player. Mm -hmm. But you know, he did well for Celtic last, uh, last season and even uh, Celtic boss uh, Brendan Rodgers actually fears that he might lose him during this transfer window. Uh, for the World Cup, I don't think he really stood out, uh, but generally the whole Australian team, I think they really struggled. So he could only do so much at it as an individual. Mm -hmm. So it was disappointing for him, also Ben Ryan, also Aaron Moy, mm -hmm. basically just the whole Australian team. But you know, he's one for the future, we should really look at him. 25 years, he still has a lot of time. has a bright future yeah. ahead of him. Yeah. Uh, remember, we are giving you a chance to be part of this show. You can call in, give your thoughts about this World Cup, the players that have impressed you the most, the rising stars and the players that you feel that should have been at the World Cup. Remember, the number to call in is at the bottom end of your screen. You can call in, be part of the show. And we are also giving you a chance to win a jersey courtesy of GoTV. We are asking you a very simple question. How many games have been played so far in the World Cup? The total number of games is 64. But how many games have been played so far in the World Cup? How many games? The first correct answer gets to walk away with the jersey. Remember, you have to tweet with the hashtag KTN Russia 2018. Remember, we are also giving you a chance to call in, be part of the show. The numbers to call in are at the bottom end of your screen. Give us your views, what you think about the World Cup. Which players do you think should not have gone home early uh, because their, their, their teams rather were eliminated earlier on? So we move on with our, our list of the, of the players that we think should not have gone home early. Now, Mehdi Benatia for Morocco. And he was a solid, a rock, when you talk about Juventus. But coming into the World Cup, things were different. Steve. Ah, Morocco, man, Morocco. I'm still heartbroken because, you know, the kind of football that these, these players played, I, I don't think there's any, any team that actually matched the kind of football they, they, they showed us. And obviously, Benatia was the leader uh, at the back in there. Yes. Uh, his performance, I think, is, is one of those consistent players who they don't drop. They are always at, you know, six out of ten. That's like the max, the minimum they can get to. Yes. Uh, but I think uh, for Morocco, I think this was a very, very unlucky tournament for them. Mm. Uh, but Benati obviously stood out. There are rumors that he might be going to, to Arsenal. Uh, Unai Emery, I think, really has eyes on him as, as he tries to, yes. you know, jiggle his defense with the likes of Per Mata, Mata, Metasaka leaving. Mm. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if he makes a big move. Uh, obviously, Juventus is a big team, but coming to the Premier League means, you know, bigger football, more international exposure and all that. Uh, but for Morocco, I think generally it was unlucky for them, but I... Like I said before, this team, I'm giving them, you know, their, their odds on favourite to win the 20, then the ne next year's Africa Cup of Nations under Havre Renard. You think Morocco will I win that? Is it because Havre Renard is a specialist when you talk about African That as football? well, and also based on the kind of football I've seen them uh, play, despite losing to, you know, th those two, two group matches that they, they lost. They drew against uh, Spain. Lost to, more, to Portugal 1-0, yeah, yeah. lost to Iran 1-0. Yeah, very unfortunate result. I don't think the, the, the two matches that they lost, they deserve to lose. Yes. But, you know, I think it was just also inexperience. You know, the World Cup is not their cup of tea. They don't come here every single World Cup season. Yes. But I think at least this one, they, they, they've got a good enough experience in now going to the subsequent World Cups and even Africa Cup of Nations, they'll improve. Uh -huh. yeah. I remember right here in, in studio, we have the PS Challenge. And uh, we have uh, Hamed taking on. The first match was between uh, Brazil and uh, France. How did the match end? Uh, he won 1 0. He won 1 0. Brazil and France. Remember, the, the two teams are still in the World Cup. They will be in the quarterfinals. Brazil and France all playing tomorrow. Brazil playing uh, Uruguay at 5 p.m. Then later on at 9 p.m., uh, rather Brazil will be taking on Belgium in the quarterfinals slated for tomorrow. That is. Uh, when you talk about uh, the PS challenge that we have right here in studio, Hamed, of course, leading the series right now, 1-0. We want to cross over to Abdul, and we are talking about the stars 
who left the World Cup very early. And uh, <clears throat> one man that we are talking about now, we've moved away from Medi Benatia, but we are still talking about uh, the stars that are, are out of the World Cup. We have uh, Victor Moses, scored one goal for Nigeria, and they went out of the World Cup. What are your thoughts about this man? Did he deliver the way it was expected? Uh, Moses delivered whatever we expected from him. He took the Chelsea form uh, to Nigerian team. Mm -hmm. You could see the penalty. Yes. He was calm, relaxed. He took the penalty, he sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Yes. Which uh, brought Nigeria to the game. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for other, other members of the team, they let him down. The holding, the, they could have just played their game, yes. not defend, but they made uh, Argentina to attack them. They could have taken everything to do. The, the Argentinians, yes. but unfortunately, they let down Moses. So we take a look at the goal that Victor Moses scored 